All right, I'm out this. Okay, um, this is not a joyous occasion. It's not intended to be a joyous occasion. Um, when I came here in 1987, there was a priest here that poured libation for us, welcomed us, and told us that um, we emphasize that we, in fact, those who want to sit can sit. There's two South Koreans. And um, that we are Africa's children. We are African, first and foremost. And so we come here to pay homage to our ancestors. Um, every year, we observe Emancipation Day. And our first Emancipation Day was in 1998, after the president of Ghana had gone to Jamaica West Indies. So that we have what is called the door of no return has been renamed the door of return. That came about as a result of ancestral remains being brought from New York City, Samuel Carson, and Crystal, who was brought in from Jamaica West Indies. They brought them in, they flew them in, they were met at the airport by a thousand people, plenty, plenty folks, and laid in state at the W.E.V. Du Bois Center, the Marcus Garvey House, then taken by bus to the boat, and that boat brought them to the Cape Coast Castle Dungeons. And I want us to remember, I know that the sign says Cape Coast Castle, but castles was not your ancestors' experience. Dungeons was our experience. And consequently, I am petitioning the government of Ghana and the Museums and Monuments Board to amend the name so that it says Cape Coast Castle Dungeons or Amina Castle Dungeons or wherever there are dungeons. And to further prove that, I had some visitors here a couple of days ago and the lady was totally shocked. She said, because they said castle and I expected to see this beautiful place. <laughs> That's not what this is. Hell is where your ancestors were. And we come to hell to give thanks to them for the fact that you've survived to be able to make this journey. Because they've taken us out, like 40 going north, and don't nobody do nothing about it, and don't nobody care. And unless we care ourselves, nobody else is going to. So what we're going to do as part of our ceremony is that everybody has been given a candle. Um, what I do is that when you come, we feed the ancestors. And when I say feed them, we give them food. We give them drink. We give them light. Every April 1st, we put out a slice of bread, a candle, and some water for 24 hours. Because if our ancestors just had that little bit, a lot more of them might have survived. So we come, and in feeding the ancestors, we give them mashed yam, with bread oil and egg. Everyone is asked to take a bit of that. It's just like if you were presenting food to the king, you would not give it to the king until you tasted it, until you become a part of this. So those that don't want to partake don't have to, but I will be passing it around. You don't have to take much. You just take a little bit of egg and a little bit of um, uh, Nashville. Okay. <coughs> and we pour libation. Sorry I missed y'all in the first dungeon. Y'all moving kind of fast this morning. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> you didn't get out. Okay.